Emily did a great job as Toastmaster. And I like the fact that you said there are three parts of the meeting and explained us the three parts of the meeting. You had great introductions to the roles, except I would have liked to have heard the introduction for Ruth's speech before we heard the speech. And that, that's a shared responsibility between the speaker and the Toastmaster to understand how to listen to it. It's nice to tell the audience what the objective of the speech, especially it's an advanced speech and a lot of we don't have a lot of members who are familiar with that. That would have been a recommendation. That is a recommendation for improvement for one or both of you guys. But excellent job. Great segues between one role and the next. Eric, great word. I can't read this other stuff down here. But I can read this, but you obviously got to make either reduce this and make this bigger if you could next time, please. And I like the fact that you have it here too. People and one or two speakers did use this. We'll get a count on that in a minute. So it was, it was a good word that people used. And I actually see now we have references. Good. <laughs> good joke. Nice delivery, Connie. Wish Connie's not here anymore. Okay. Meeting. James did a good job. I would have liked to have seen, heard about the approximate times of the speeches and the table topics, just to remind us. And presiding officer Vaughn, man, we started on time. Excellent. Even though there was a little chaos at the beginning here. As table topics master, I know you did excellent job swiftly getting to the point of the questions, but I would have liked to have heard a reminder of the timing, especially for Adam. But I probably would have benefited from knowing that's one to two minutes and the objective of table topics, which you obviously picked up. On, but helpful to remind us what the purpose of table topics is this time. But I like the fact that you, you got right into it. It was very swiftly. Right.